Hello, welcome to another episode of Distance. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. I went on a bit of a break from it for a while. But I figure that now I have a bit of time, so I'll go ahead and jump back into it. I last left off going into the Junk Realm. I attempted to record this once before, but eventually just gave up for a while. Alright, so like normal, I'm going to show off the level itself first. And then I'm going to exploit it to the best of my ability in order to beat my best time right ahead of me. Ooh, that was a bit of a risky maneuver there. So, the Junk Realm here, by Alex Chosen. Uh, I probably mentioned that already, did I? I don't know. I did now. This is by Alex Chosen. So, this is... a bit of an annoying level to me sometimes. There are some parts about it that I really love. Overall, this is one of my favorite levels to play through. But there are a few parts that I feel aren't super enjoyable. This is pretty much one of the best examples right here. Uh, yeah, I missed it. Okay. So, the gimmick here is that you're supposed to get brought up by the crane. Uh, it has a vacuum effect to it. Problem is that it can be pretty tricky to actually get into the center of the crane, which is where a teleporter is. Yeah, there we go. See, it works perfectly there, but sometimes not so much. And a lot of times I find that no matter what I do, it's pretty hit and miss on whether or not I actually can land inside the center area. It's a pretty cool gimmick, I just feel like it's... You know, it could be a little bit more... Well, I don't know, it's just not very reliable. Especially if you're going for a record time and not trying to go through the entire level through flight. But other than that, that's honestly like my biggest concern in the entire level. There's another part later on that's kind of annoying as well, but it's not quite as bad. Not nearly as, uh, random. I don't, know, I don't even want to say it's random, it's just... It happens. There's not very much you can do to control it. Well, you can control it, but your control is quite limited and chances are very high that you're just going to be sent flying off or you're going to hit a curve and just explode. And that's not fun for anyone. Anyways, um, this part's a little bit weird here. There's a lot of debris on the road and that debris will destroy you. Uh, it's pretty small, pretty inconsequential, but yeah, it will blow you up. Alright, so this part's pretty fun. A lot of different paths you can take here. Most of them lead you to the same general area. One of them leads you to a bit of a secret place. An alternate route. I don't remember which one that was. I might be on it now. Maybe? Oh, I think I am. Yes, indeed. I believe I might be. Wait. It's a lot of looping roads. kind of hard to tell. Perhaps this is not the road. We're about to find out. Nah, okay. So, this is the normal road, then. Oh, it's the worst road, in fact. Oh, God. Oh, I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> yeah, that leads you right into the middle of the way for the debris pile there. And it's pretty normal in a lot of these... Well, in distance in general, not just racing around, just, just in general. Uh, you want to get off the road if you want to get the best times. And this level is no exception, not at all. Anyway, so this part is pretty cool. That's a bit of a reference to the uh, monsters, the Junk Monsters, or Junkasaurus Rex. Ooh! <laughs> you should have seen that one coming. Oh my god. Uh, the Junkasaurus Rex. It starts breathing fire everywhere. In the movie, there's only one. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Oh, God. Uh, this is the second hardest part of the level. Second most unfair part, you could say. <laughs> it's pretty hard to maneuver around this place without getting killed. These crushing cubes of death everywhere and junk pile in the middle of the road. It can make it difficult to ride where you need to be to dodge the, the cube things. It's a bit of a nuisance, but not totally unfair. Ooh, not totally unfair. Um, yeah, I'll dodge that one. Alright, no problem. 
I've got a bad feeling about this one. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Oh, no. Ooh. If you're not going fast, they generally go right through you, which is kind of weird. Oh, lag spikes. Lag spikes everywhere. Oh, no. No. Okay, made it through that one. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, that was wise. I think I can make it through this now. No, I can't. Ah, oh, nope. Should have hit the apex there. What was I thinking? Nah, hitting the apex doesn't always help you in this. Unlike in the movie. Because there's junk sitting right there in the apex. That usually doesn't really do you much good when you're trying to dodge these things. Now, I think this is the weirdest one. Ugh. Well, the lag doesn't really help. Uh, was it this one? There's one that's like in a weird angle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. A lot of time it'll just go right overhead. Oh, this one too. That's right, there's two of them that do that. Uh oh. Uh, lag is everywhere. Alright, that was good. Keep going. And I'm free. Okay, so obviously this wasn't any record-breaking time. But I think that's a pretty good demonstration of the level overall. Uh, if you look over there, that's part of the other routes that I may show off. I don't know, that's a hyperpod route. Where you are digging through a lot of the junk and stuff. Technically, you're digging through a lot of the junk and stuff. There's a few hazards there that mostly have to do with a very uneven road. But overall, that is a slower but much, much safer and easier route to take. And I did a nice little trick there at the end. Uh, more than just flying around, you actually kind of want to try to get off the road to the best of your ability and just stay driving around the, uh, the junk floor here. Because not only will this save you a lot of time from little twisty roads like that, but this is a fantastic way to avoid that crane there, which is like the number one cause of death for me <laughs> when I'm trying to do these speedruns. Okay, but then I also have to land, ah uh, yeah, see it's not going to go too well for me now is it? That's alright, let's try that again. I really butchered my landing, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah I lost a lot of time because I did that. Alright, so coming off here, gonna keep on clinging a little bit and try to do a flip so I can avoid that mess. Yeah, we'll get on the land. Let's see. I'm sure that this won't be a problem. So we're going. No! Oh, cool, there's a kill grid there. That was knowledge gained. Alright, let's go uh, not that way, actually. Yeah, narrowly avoided. Narrowly avoided. What is happening? Oh, I got suctioned in by the crane. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Let's go again. Let's try to get a little bit downwards this time so I can avoid the crane and the kill wall. I'll hopefully be able to avoid the kill wall. Uh, I don't like my chances on that wall. That's looking a little bit high. This one, this one should do the trick. Yeah, this looks pretty solid. I have a very sneaking suspicion that there's a kill grid just around the corner here. But this also looks like a fantastic opportunity to just fly towards the hyperpod section. Which, I believe if I can pull that off, I should be home free. Alright, let's go for it. Don't need the checkpoint. Whoever needed checkpoints anyways. Alright. I'm not going to use the actual hyperpod, but I'm going to go around the junk pile thing here. Alright, so far so good. I guess I'm technically showing off the Hyper Pond route now, aren't I? Killing two birds with one stone. It should be quite a bit easier for me to actually ride this route compared to the normal route there. Because that one's kind of designed to be very bumpy. Oh, the crane is trying to catch me, I will not let it. But now I'm going into a direction that I really did not want to go. Oh no. Well. 
I'm about even with my uh, previous record now. And I guess we're no longer doing the hyperpod route. <laughs> Let's see if I can still pull this off. If I can get a good flip from any one of these rocks, then I should be able to make it. This one might do it. Yeah, I have a pretty good feeling about this. Okay. Oh yeah, this is going well. Okay, do not crush me, I swear. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Perfect, and that's my first checkpoint at the level. I believe I'm ahead. I mean, I saw my name tag, and I don't think that I was moving fast enough to catch up to this point. I'll be seriously surprised if I was. So, with that said... Oh yeah, 4 minutes 11 seconds, I definitely got this in the bag. Beautiful. It doesn't look like I have any more of the Junk Realm levels loaded. I don't know if there's more than that, but I'm going to just stick with Alex's for now and call it a day. I'm 9th place on the global leaderboard, so I'm still keeping my general 10, top 10 position. <laughs> I'll take it. It's acceptable. Let's see, it's only a few milliseconds off from 8th place there. And I was quite a bit behind 7th place. But hey, not too bad.